on last week's vlog we started the new year off safe and simple i made a traditional new year's meal didn't forget about the black eyed peas we popped bottles with apple cider it was my first new year's with my baby and i did my hair we went to home depot and we got a heater because it's noon so stay tuned for this week's vlog what's up she scribe back in the building with another video it's simple i love it happy new near me happy new here our conversations outrageous you smile when i smile when i say Ooh, this is getting personal, personal. What's up everybody? Showing love to the solo, taking it easy, and married mothers and brothers out there. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you press that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. My name is Sheikah Amon, and we do a little bit of everything on this channel. So just subscribe to the channel and you know, just stay tuned. Anyway, y'all today is just another day of just vlogging i told y'all i'm vlogging every um week you know uploading videos every week or something like that so this is just a regular vlog as you can see y'all i did my hair over if y'all watched the video from last week y'all see that i did like those um what fox locks twist or whatever but y'all i took them things up out of my head because i just don't like that feeling of stuff just like in my head and it just feels tight and it's like I guess the feeling of it being wrapped around your hair, I just don't like that feeling, you know what I mean? So maybe if I can see a different technique or something like that, maybe I'll try it again, but right now it's just not for me. So I just did something quick. Uh, you know, I just did like something like kind of like this. It's just a little quick little, um, it's just a quick little something, something, you know, just something quick. And it works, um, but anyway, today I have to go do some running around. So I just decided to take y'all along with me. The baby is in her playpen right now because I was like trying to, uh, you know, get her diaper bag packed, get her bottle, pampers, all that stuff. You know, all the stuff you need when you're going out the house with a baby. So I sat her in the playpen just so I can focus on what I need to get done because, you know, when you got a baby, she is all over the place when I'm trying to move around and I kind of just want to get what I need to get and not have to keep stopping to get her out of this or move her from here or get her from there so that's what she doing but yeah I just wanted to start this vlog off y'all and as you can hear she is you know so I wanted to start this off so just stay tuned y'all and we'll see what the day brings okay guys say hey baby say hey to the vlog I'm ready to go bye bye y'all can't really see her outfit she don't kick the shoe off but on her purple today y'all but y'all can't really see her say hey and she got her hair done but i gotta put her head on she don't like this head on but i'm gonna put it back on her I didn't vlog that much today but because like I just wouldn't like I don't know I did do a mukbang so make sure y'all go check that out and hold on let me change my battery out real quick for y'all so as y'all can see I didn't vlog that much today only because like I had one thing planned but I didn't get to do it it didn't come through the way that I wanted it to so I just was like all thrown off today with vlogging <laughs> But I am going to show y'all what I did get because I did go into a few stores. So I am going to do that. So the first store, well not the first store, I'm just going to pick up the bags and that's the stores I went to. So I went to this store called Sadia's. And um, she sells leggings. Um, her leggings are $6 for a pair of leggings, which is good. So I got four pair of leggings um, from her. 
Um, they all one size fits all. So I got uh, some burgundy leggings. And they in a pack, but they all come in this plastic. I'll unpack it for y'all so y'all can really see. These ones right here was behind the register. I was in the store the whole time looking for the solid color ones because they had like all kind of color ones at first. That's how I ended up getting four. Because I bought two that had like different designs and then I'm like, where is the solid ones? And then they behind the counter. I guess because, you know, they the ones that people might come in there and take. But yeah, here goes some solid. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Here, I want your iPad, something. Yeah, but um, yeah, I get some regular burgundy leggings, which the material is pretty good. So I got some burgundy. I got some black ones, of course, because that's my favorite kind to go to. I love leggings, y'all, only because, you know, after I had a baby or whatever, it's much easier for me to just throw on leggings when I'm just running somewhere versus jeans. I haven't been able to find the right jeans yet. So until then, leggings is it. So I found me some black ones, just regular black leggings. Um, and then these are the colorful ones. Remember I told y'all they had color ones and I didn't know, so I just grabbed two and then, you know, ended up getting two more. Got this color, it's like, flowerly and then it got like the chains on it and stuff like that this kind i should do a try on haul for y'all but i don't feel like trying on all this stuff i should do a try on haul shouldn't i all right let me um oh well, matter of fact i'm gonna show them to y'all and then i'm gonna upload with me what i look like in them on the side so that's what i do so this is them though and then i got these these are just black, cause I was looking for solid colors. They black, but they got these little designs at the side, right here. So I got these, and they all one size fit all. So I'm gonna try all of them on, and then I'm gonna let y'all see what they look like. All right, and then I, you know, will insert it on the side. So y'all be seeing that, you know, as I um, as I'm showing them to y'all, I start adding the clip of what I look like in these. All right, so then. I went to, what is this? Yeah, I went to a store called, uh, what is this store called? I don't know what this store called, y'all. It's just a regular, like, it was supposed to be like a dollar store, but it wasn't. And I found, you know, just some regular things to wash dishes with, because I always like these kind of things for dishes. And I found me two packs of farts. This, like I said, it was supposed to be a dollar store, but these forks was a dollar forty nine, which is not bad. But they, I thought it was a dollar store. But I've been needing some farts, y'all. You know how farts and spoons seem like they run away. It seems like when you get stock up on uh, spoons, you get you don't have no farts. But then when you stock up on farts, all of a sudden your spoons go missing. <laughs> so we needed some farts around this place, okay? So I got me two packs of um, farts. That was good. Then I went to a store called hmm, Epic. It's called Epic. And I found me a pair of sweatpants. And they, they just regular black. I'm going to try these on. I'm going to show them to y'all on the side. Regular black sweatpants with, uh, they got like the embroidered in here. And then they got like the black and white. They did have hoodie jackets to go with these, but. I was just like, let me just get the sweatpants for now. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and then maybe later I'll get the sweatshirt or maybe I'll get another sweatshirt to like go to it. But the sweatshirts was cute too, but I didn't even bother getting a whole sweatsuit because I wasn't really in that kind of spirit today. You feel what I'm saying? Then I got that. Then we got, I went to Burlington because um, y'all know I've been trying to find like a lot of home decor stuff. But um, after Christmas, you know, I had, you know, got some stuff with during Christmas time, but it was all like holidays. Now, you know, I'm trying to find like some everyday like type of decor. You know, we went from fall to Christmas. So everything kind of been in between fall and Christmas when it comes to like your decor. So I'm trying to find like that everyday vibe. But I didn't find much in the Burlington, but I did pick up a few things. And I got this. It smells so good, y'all. It's called um, Summer Romance. And it's these little um, dust packs like this. 
Y'all, I'm telling you, this stuff smells so good. And it's like little packages. I think you, I don't know how to use them. Original, these, these little packages, I don't know what you do. I don't know if you just sit the packages somewhere and just let the smell come through, but they, they smell so good. And they little packages, and I think you just open them and just sit them places. So I just got these for around the house to just keep a little extra smell in the house. And then I found some of these. I thought these smelled. I got some of these, and what I did was I got, I wanna, you know, I had Christmas decorations. It's like the centerpiece, and you know, and like when you're staying, but I wanted to like change it up. So I got this right here. This like right here. Hopefully it, it goes for what I'm trying to do. It's like a embroidery like this. And I'm gonna take and put these inside of these inside of this like like spread them out and stuff and then i'm gonna put it on the middle of the stand it's like a centerpiece but i'm gonna um you know get some candles and stuff around it maybe yeah i think i want to try that whole book look you know with the stack books something like that but you know i'm trying to work on an everyday look so we're gonna see how that look and then we'll see but that was just something that i was trying to put together in my mind and like some nice little centerpieces and stuff for your stand but yeah that's all i got y'all when i was out that wasn't even the plan to go to get this stuff, but it was good because I needed a few things for myself. Like I told y'all, I always shop. I've been shopping for Christmas. I get myself stuff, but it's like touch and go, believe it or not. Like, I haven't even went to the hair salon. Like, I've been watching videos and just learning how to do styles on my hair on my own. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I haven't even been to the hair salon spending a bunch of money. I've just been focusing on, you know, taking care of my house, taking care of my child you know and just keeping things going that i buy my stuff stuff but not like i used to you feel me but i have been getting back into going to the nail salon and getting my nails done and my feet done i'm trying to make that like a priority every other week you know what i mean just to do something to take out time to do something for yourself because you don't want to forget about yourself ever and i used to always say that before i had kids well a child and now that i have a child i understand and see how quick you can get away from yourself if you know your focus is on your child you know what i'm saying so you know take our time to do things for yourself because i haven't been doing that lately you know so i feel kind of good to get a little few things for myself even though i still cut myself short because i i do cut myself short because usually i probably would have got the whole sweatsuit i would have got other things i got this but you know me being me now i'm like oh, that's all i really need i'm gonna step back you know what I'm saying? that's just how i am now you feel me but it's all good it's all good take care and treat yourself but yeah that's it y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and um do these leggings and stuff let y'all see these leggings and um yeah i think that's it for tonight or i might come back later after well we already did we got ourselves together for the day but we're gonna wind down kind of need to straighten up a little bit you know get the house together and then we'll either be back today or tomorrow because like i said i try to vlog all weekend for y'all but anyway hope make sure y'all go check out my mukbang too i did that so make sure y'all tune in and check that out and i will see y'all i guess tomorrow <laughs> hey everybody so i know we might be looking a little you know we look good now but you know we might not be all you know ready to go 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 today today is a laundry day y'all it is sunday and it is about what almost five o'clock y'all i have been just trying to straighten up today and i actually got like laid in the bed for a little bit and like today just been like a just regroup day hold on girl so today has been like a regroup day for me and i'm ready to go out here now Hold on, let me get this light and wash. I'm gonna just do the first two loads, which is um the first two loads is her clothes, and I'm gonna wash the towels first. Here she goes. Say hey vlog. Hey, say hey to the vlog. Yeah, but um, yeah, so the first load I'm gonna do is towels and I'm gonna do her clothes. But we ready to walk down here to this laundry room and see if we can get some washing started, y'all. Like I got a lot of laundry to do. 
because I don't know y'all I told y'all I've been super exhausted like these past couple days with her not wanting to sleep at night I've been real tired I see how she is but if I can go down here and leave, start washing hold on we'll be on something so if I can at least get these two little started, hopefully we have some washers available. Eee. Eee. I charge it right back. Yeah, but y'all, if uh, at least if I can get these two loads started, then that'll be a start and we'll see what we get. Oh y'all, just a one of those days. Y'all, just one of those days. And she just showing off. But we'll we'll get back to it. Let me see you get. Ha, and go low, low. Cause she ain't gon' time me down. Won't you drop that thing down to the flow, flow? She ain't gon' time me down. Let me see you get high and go low. She ain't gon' time me down. Won't you drop that thing down to the flow? She ain't gon' time me down. Hey y'all, so um, I just had got done, well I've been done washing now for like a little while. I folded up most of the clothes, I got like one more load to fold up, but I went on ahead and ate. And you know, took a little break because I'm tired y'all. But I'm ready to go ahead and take my hot tub bath. I've been using this y'all. I've been using this right here. It's called Epsom Soil. It's the lavender scented. I've been using that because um, I don't know, like, my back and stuff been, like, hurting, you know what I mean? And so, like, every, like, so often I soak in a hot tub bed with some Epsom salt. And I know I might seem like I'm old, but it's, like, just a little relaxing to me, you know what I mean? So, I've been using that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get me a hot tub bath and see if it'll help me relax. And I'm thinking about taking my hair down. I know I just did this. But one thing, like, I get headaches really bad, you know what I mean? So that's why I don't really keep hairstyles in that long. Because, like, I'll do my hair and then, like, when my head start hurting, I'll take it out, you know what I mean? So my head is kind of hurting, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this down. I'll end up doing something else to it because I change my hair a lot. Like, like, I just do my hair over and over and over and over. It's just something that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to take this hairstyle down and get in the hot tub bath. Baby is out there with her father and i'm ready to do a little relaxation session or whatever and everything is pretty much straightened up i still got up my christmas shower curtain because like i had you know did the whole decor thing but i've been searching for um a new shower curtain but i just haven't found one and i kind of like this one more than the one i had up before so i'm just gonna keep this one up until i um find a new one who cares it's just the bathroom right but um yeah so that's what's pretty much going on y'all and i will be back either tonight or tomorrow it depends but i know i'm gonna get me a bath and then i'm gonna get my baby a bath but that's what's going on y'all so just checking in updating y'all and i'll see y'all in the next clip hey y'all so I know I'm looking a lot of bit probably busted right now because I usually don't come on camera like this, but this is what it is right now. So yesterday when uh, we, well, let me just go give a little bit of a backstory. Saturday, my throat started feeling scratchy. Didn't think much of it because sometimes my throat just naturally just feels scratchy. You know what I mean? So, hold on, let me turn on this because I had on the Lion King for my daughter. 
Okay, hold on real quick, y'all. Let me turn this down, cause I know the Lion King might got copyright music in here. Okay, so, um, okay, y'all. So let me give y'all a little bit of a backstory. So Saturday, Saturday, my throat started feeling scratchy. I didn't think much of it because sometimes my throat just feels scratchy anyway. You know what I mean? So Sunday, you know, I started to feel a little bit weird, but not like that. It was just my throat still was a little scratchy. And then once I got to Monday and I started working, I started to feel terrible, like terrible. So I was like, let me go ahead and take my temperature. I took my temperature. I think my temperature was like 101, my first temperature. So then I was like, okay, cool. So I went ahead and took, what did I do? I started drinking fluids. I don't think I took nothing. And so I just got through the work day, you know. So then after that, I um, went and I took my temperature again because I started feeling worse. And it was 102.2. So I knew something was wrong. And all I could do was lay down because all I had me and my baby here. So she was asleep. So while she was asleep, I'm just checking on her, y'all. She over here playing, but just want to make sure she okay. But... Here, come on, baby. Come on. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. Yeah, so anyway, my temperature was 102. Y'all got a baby. So when you got a baby, it's like, this is life. You know what I mean? This is life. So um, my temperature was 102. So I went on ahead. She was asleep. I didn't, um, you know, go to the doctor or nothing at that time. So I just said, I'm going to lay down. And I'm going to lay down and while she's sleeping, I'm just going to go to sleep. So I slept, slept it down. So by the time I got back up, come on, baby. All right, y'all. So I took my temperature. Hold on. This is my mom calling. Hold on. Who is this? Oh, no. It's not my mom. Hold on. So I took my temperature and it was 99 point something. So I was like, okay whatever it went down so when she woke up i was like well she been acting fine i was like but let me go ahead and take my baby temperature took her temperature and her temperature was like what was it like a hundred or something so i was like now i'm getting concerned you feel what i'm saying so i went on here it was late though so i was like i'm not trying to go to the hospital this late if i can help it because I know how hospitals are in the middle of the night, you know what I mean? Because it was all getting later. So I gave her a little bit of children's Tylenol and I breastfed her, you know. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait till, you know, just try to like see what goes on throughout the night. So her temperature ended up going down before the night was over. And so I was like, cool, you know. So then when the morning came and then when I checked her temperature that morning, it was 101.3, I think. So I knew right then and there my baby had a temperature again. I knew I was not feeling well, but I knew my baby was the first priority. You feel what I'm saying? Called her doctor, and they was able to get me in for like an urgent, urgent visit. But you had to get there in like an hour. You know what I mean? So I got us together. Remind you, y'all. My head was hurting the other day. So I, I had just had dimmed my hair. But, like, my head was starting to hurt real bad. So, I had took out my hair. So, I'm not feeling good. Like, why is it that when you're not feeling good? And it's like, I know my shirt looks crazy, y'all. Just ignore everything, y'all. Because I'm getting to the point. You feel me? I'm just trying to lead y'all up there. So, I, my hair is a mess. So, I had to kind of brush my hair up, hair up and put something, you know, together. Pull it up just to go to the doctor. Even though I didn't feel like it because my head was hurting. And... And so I took her to the doctor. They did her a uh, COVID test. My baby was positive for COVID, y'all. So I'm sitting there like, you know, just like, I already know that if she got COVID, then I must got COVID. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm more concerned about my baby. And they like, her temperature was only like 98 point something when she got to the doctor, which was, she didn't have a temperature. She wasn't acting no different. They said her breathing was fine. Everything was looking good. She was just tested positive. And they said that, they, you know, they recommended me to go get tested too. But they couldn't test me at her doctor's office because, you know, it's not for me. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me y'all so i go to the urgent care where i usually go and get covid tests i had went there a couple times i go ahead get tested i'm positive for covid so now me and my baby both got covid so you know in the midst of you know just this whole day or whatever you know it's just been a lot you know so i um I don't know, it's just been a lot, y'all. It's just like, I just don't even know how to take it. So, we supposed to quarantine for 10 days. So, I've been just ordering a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I, you know, like, I just been ordering a bunch of stuff. I got her Pedialyte. I got her prescription. Um, I got me some soup. I got me some ibuprofen. Because, remind you, I breastfeed. So, it's not much I can take. Leave it alone, girl. Leave it alone, girl. But overall, she's still being active, and I'm kind of letting her be active because that's what I want to see her do. Um, luckily, I do work at home, so that's helpful, but it's still trying because I'm trying to, I'm not feeling well. I got a baby here, and you know, it's just a lot, you feel me? And I think the COVID, like actually, because I don't go nowhere like that, y'all. I actually think it came in from her dad you know and i hate to put it out there like that but i just really do because he's the only one that like travels to work and travels to do stuff i don't go many places but yeah so he gotta get tested you know so overall that's what's going on so today is a new day my symptoms are pretty much like the same but my chest is hurting a little bit today she is a little more congested today like i can hear it in her um and her like cough or whatever is like a little more harsh. I did order a VIX, um, what you call it? VIX humidifier. Leave it alone, little girl. Oh, here go her right here, y'all. So ignore us if we looking crazy. I'm just trying to, to pull it all together. I mean, I'm feeling a lot better than what I thought I would feel with this. But at the same time, it's like you still feel a little bad. You know what I mean? But the house is a wreck, you know. The baby is being herself but at the same time i think she noticed times where she don't feel well you know what i mean <sighs> so you know i'm just trying to make the best of this not saying the best of the situation i'm just trying to get through this situation let's just say that um yeah so i just been ordering stuff which i thought i hate ordering this like shit and all that stuff because it's so expensive when you could just you know get it yourself but it is what it is i'm trying to look out for other people because I know that if I can keep get us all back health back up to 100%, then I know that I can do take more actions to prevent this. You know what I mean from coming into my house. And I want to um, possibly maybe get the vaccine, possibly. But like I said, I breastfeed. That's the only reason I wasn't didn't even consider getting it. But yeah, y'all, that's what's going on. It's a lot, but that's just what it is. But yeah, don't much more else to say. It's a wreck inside of this house. I mean, I have tried to wash the dishes with some bleach and stuff like that. But overall, it's just a mess. My baby is all over the place as usual. And I'm trying to like keep up with everything, y'all. Just keep us in your prayers. I will keep y'all updated. I know we're going to get better. I'm just going to wait like the 10 days and wait it out. I probably will be vlogging maybe. I don't know. But like it's so much going on that I haven't even got into the vlogging. Only because like vlogging sometimes can be you know a lot. Especially when you're trying to get a job done. I'm trying to watch this baby. I'm trying to do a whole bunch y'all. So I probably won't be able to vlog. I don't know how people vlog with doing a million things at one time. We'll see. But yeah um yeah i did get the vix humidifier for her and i got um i got some pedialyte for her i got her some pedialyte not even like i don't got no taste because i do have a taste i just i don't know i just can't eat i don't know the most i've been eating is like the rich cheese crackers that's the only thing i've been eating and i've been drinking tea so that's what's going on with me 
she been doing good. She eating her baby food. She take her medicine. She drinking her Peter Light. She drinking her bottles, but she not drinking as many bottles, but she, she's still eating. You know what I'm Keep y'all updated throughout this and ignore me if I'm looking a hot mess. I will get it back together. I just wanted to, you know, document this because this is new, y'all. I never expect me to have the COVID because I do not play games, y'all. Like, I keep sanitizer i wash my hands i do everything but it's sometimes you can do everything but it just take that one person that slip up that come around you and then your whole operation is shut down you feel what i'm saying so be mindful of people who are coming in and out your house make sure they are doing what they need to do and make sure everybody around you is doing what they need to do but overall y'all i don't know we'll just see but i keep y'all updated y'all keep us in prayers I know you ain't been touching now I know you ain't the only